I'm pretty sure I just stuck my elbow in the palette. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different, but this is going to become a new series on my channel. I am going to be using palettes that I already own that I think either work better using your fingers to apply or brushes to apply for eyeshadows specifically. So as you can see, I already have the rest of my usual face makeup on. I have my eyebrows, I have my contour, I have my highlight. And I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the difference in between the two eyes. The palette that I'm going to be using today is the Heavy Metals palette. I did use this recently in my color of the year video and I'm going to use it again. So the interesting thing about this palette is that you have your vibrance over on this side and you have your neutrals and more peachy tone things over on this side. So a similar palette that has a really close color story comparatively is the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. The reason why I compare these two is this is basically a more vibrant version of what's going on in here. There's not a ton of sparkle to all of these colors. There are certain colors that are definitely more sparkly than others. Whereas this one is supposed to be metals all around. So I've zoomed you in a little bit. Please ignore the blemish. So I have primed my lids. So I'm probably going to stay towards the more neutral side today. And what you'll notice is that because these shadows are all metallic, there's eventually going to be kind of a wash of neutral, probably over my entire eyelid, but we'll see. The first shade I'm going to be taking as more of a transition shade into the crease is Demo. First brush of the day is going to be my pointer finger. So there is Demo on that eye and now I'm going to do Demo on this eye with this angled brush. I would definitely say that this eye has more pigment and this eye is the fingers and this side has more of an even blend and evenly distributed pigment which I think is going to be pretty clear for most of them because a lot of them are the exact same texture but I want to keep playing around and see if there's any colors that are more pigmented naturally with a brush or not. The next color that I'm going to take is After Party. And I'm going to take my pinky and go under my eye. Okay, so already I can tell that this is way more pigmented. Well, it's definitely harder to do this with your pinky. It deposited so much pigment right away. So now I'm going to take my favorite under eye brush with After Party and apply it to the side. Pretty much smoked out. Under both eyes, this was really even. There's no difference in between the brush, and I was totally wrong. The textures of the shadow are not the same whatsoever. So uh, I'm gonna keep going in. So that one's more of like a satin finish shadow, whereas the other one was like a harder glitter base, which was harder to dig into. This one was much softer. So my next shadow that's going to kind of blend further into the center of the lid is going to be Scream. I'm going to use my middle finger. There is a lot of pigment on my finger. I'm really not trying to flip anybody off. It really nicely. So the brush I'm going to use is a little fluffy blending brush. I only dipped in once with my middle finger and this eye is completely covered in pigment. Whereas this eye, it's getting to be that like general wash. I'm going to be using After Party a little bit in my crease to deepen it a little bit. Demo wasn't as pigmented. I went more on my brow bone just because of the way that I applied it, but uh, it kind of deepened everything just a little bit and rounded it out. And in the other eye, I'm going to be using this fluffy but flat blending brush. Everything is just way more of a gradient, whereas on this side, things are much more pigmented. I know it's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but I'm going to face completely towards the light in a few minutes at the end so you can really see what's happening on both of my eyes. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to be taking acoustic and I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone and my inner corner. Skinnier 
little fluffy brush, I'm going to be taking acoustic onto this eye. Just that in the inner corner. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see just a little bit better. And there's my brow bone. And on this side, that's my inner corner and that's my brow bone. This is the side with brushes. This is the side with my fingers. I'm gonna put on some finishing touches of some eyeliner and mascara and some lipstick and I will be right back. Okay, so here's this look all finished with the light straight on. Where I film, I usually get light more on the side of my face as you probably all have noticed, but this is kind of where we're at. I'm looking at my little monitor over here. So this is what I was kind of talking about with this eye is that everything just kind of becomes a general wash. I'm sure that people can see the difference between the colors, but see how the room here, this all just kind of becomes like, I don't know how to describe it. The only thing that's not a general wash on my eye is the very outer corner and obviously underneath because it's a very red color. And then on this eye, I guess it's still more of a wash, but through the crease it is just so much darker and less pigment picks up on the brush than on my finger. I was originally surprised by how much went underneath my eye. Part of that I think was just the brush that I used and um, it's more densely packed for underneath my eye, but I'm going to try to even out this process a little bit more in the future. I hope you guys really liked this and that you would like to see more of me doing stuff like this. I think the final verdict for this palette is that if you want something more natural, then you should go for using it with brushes without any water wetting the brushes. And if you want something more pigmented with more of a line in between the different colors that you're using, which is what I'm into, go for fingers. And your fingers are going to pick up more pigment naturally because of the oils on them mix better with the shadows than just a dry brush thank you guys so much for watching and please let me know if you guys have any questions about this leave comments down below please like and subscribe and i will see you next week thank you so much for watching bye